definitely charted this before. It does sound familiar. I've definitely looked at this before. As you can see, I have definitely lines. Um, but there is some noise. There is some noise um, at, uh, around this project at the minute. Uh, some big partnerships uh, definitely uh, happening. But what caught my attention, and I'm just going to read it out for you guys. Um, just so I don't make a mistake. Uh, so, right. It's only 78 million in circulation at the minute. 60% of the fees uh, are going to the buyback and burn. So at this point, it's about 600,000. They're by, backed by Binance Pantera, Pantera and billionaire Mark Cobain. Uh, they're in around 200 uh, million market cap. Their all time high was, uh, why does it only show me? 25. Uh, oh yeah, so it was just below uh, 30, so $25 um and yeah i mean looking at uh there's actually another article i had someone else share with me i haven't read it yet but i it, it has piqued my interest definitely i like the tokenomics um i've seen the art uh i've seen the graphics they're just incredible um i need to really dig into this more to find out what it actually does and what it's about but so far we definitely know it's something to do with metaverse <laughs> since since the graphics uh since um what i saw definitely looks like part of incredibly beautiful world unless milky you know some more uh things about yeah, I mean, it's been it's been one of those that I've been meaning to look at for a while. Um, you know, others such as ICP, which I'm going to start researching this week as well. Been on my radar for over a year. I've just not yet ever got around to actually looking into them properly. So, um, yeah, I mean, based on this news, uh, Marta, I'm definitely going to be um, putting this on my list, uh, upgrading it on the list to uh, to look at it a bit sooner. Mm. Right, guys, if you uh, are looking at the screen right now, um, this is a, a, a very handy tool and it's free. Uh, it's it's an indicator called uh, uh, key levels. Uh, if you ever get confused and you just, you know, it's like this, this obviously is a big, massive pump uh, looking for like some supports and uh, resistances here. It would be hard, uh, especially as you can see, this is unless I, I zoom in and I start looking a little bit more. This is a monthly chart. Uh, this really is very handy tool to um, just add those key levels to your uh, chart. If you go into your settings on this, uh, as far as I know, it was a, a free indicator by Spaceman. He's an extremely uh, talented guy. I have a few of his uh, favorite uh, indicators I use. So the belt and the comet for trading, for scalping. Um, I haven't had a chance to discover all the other uh, indicators he has. But this one is certainly worth uh getting it's free like i said and uh will be very helpful so you can decide you can basic basically uh decide yourself uh in the settings how much information you want to see but it's very uh handy as you can see guys it gives you a monday ra monday range which i always talk about on mondays when uh it comes to bitcoin and trading uh we've weekly open uh, monthly open yearly open quarterly open you also have like uh your four hour open previous high and lows um so as much information as you kind of want to add to this uh and play around it makes it much easier for you so i'm just going to trace uh some of those lines just to see the highs and lows uh, i'm going to zoom in in a second on uh smaller time frame just to see and get rid of this for a second just to make it so previous monthly we have that marked we could just mark this maybe for a little minute as our like this was previous weekly open i think yeah and i'm gonna just mark this um 
with a different line so it is giving me an indication of where that bounce happened as well uh, and when we're talking about um, le levels uh, of interest we can just go back on this so go back again maybe to the weekly yeah guys look the last time i was actually looking at it was all the way in january and <laughs> there seems to be like a bit of a squiggly here look at that <laughs> yeah i was hoping for uh a retest and back up but that's where my analysis ended have a look dirty wicks a hey, dirty wicks oh yeah but look we were all waiting our side are looking interesting uh so you see this nice bullish you know that uh, rise um if i can zoom in on this for you guys how can i make this bigger oh yeah so this is looking nice right so we're printing higher uh lows on that um but that that's a weekly chart and i i like this you can you can obviously i suppose wait for the higher side to go above 52 or 50 mark um because this isn't obviously anything unheard of when you look at this here where RSI was doing kind of similar thing here and then it just never broke above it and yeah we've seen another sell-off uh but I I do like it for the minute I like the fact that it was consolidating here as well and then since there's news happening uh I would maybe start thinking of getting into this now I'm gonna just go in a little bit closer and see so it is still in this range. It got out of this range, right? So we've seen this kind of going from just above a dollar. Uh, it was kind of hitting dollar fifty. So that's that's very uh, typical for this kind of a price range as well to go in between uh, the fifty uh, cent uh, price range. We had a nice then uh, break up from here all the way to two fifty. Uh, came back down all the way to again. Um, just below that uh, 140 so below obviously 150 which was an important level here just few deviations I think uh, I think it is it is a, a, a level I would given the news given what's going on I love the tokenomics uh, I'm really liking what's what, what I'm seeing so far uh, if I was to get into this not financial advice <laughs> I'd go start <laughs> I'd, I'd start I'd start buying here um and hope if this kind of again gives me that rejection all the way down to 150. Mm, let's have a look. Uh yeah, look at the okay, this is this is not very now it's 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 better, is it? I'll fix this later, but we, we get the point. This doesn't matter anymore at this um, level here. What I wanted to see, uh, so on the on the daily, uh, it is, no, it's not the daily chart, sorry. It is, uh, yeah, it is a daily chart. So over uh, at, uh, at the daily, we see it is above the 50, uh, 50, 50 RSI and it's actually at 557 it could come back down again here still printing those higher um higher lows or even higher highs eventually um nice accumulation level given the news i'd give it a go from around here obviously i uh, had a few levels there marked for you uh, potentially i'm gonna check now in a second as well actually for you the liquidity Tools where if you if you get in now and this doesn't drop i'd be looking at obviously that nasty uh level here because as you've seen they like to be your rejection point you had this let's just show you here guys see this one two three so it's another confluence you can add when you're trading to kind of keep in mind that all right let's just kind of have some uh some uh sell orders even below like you know 250 again just below 260 because this can come down if it's wicked if it's if it's turning to the upside that's a nice sign uh that we're kind of 
changing the direction where we're going um i'll tell you in a second guys because obviously we want to see this to go above 250 before you see we see any other levels and any more uh, targets to the upside looking at this i mean this would be obviously 350 here so i'll see more liquidity pulls here um guys i'm so so sorry my hair is honestly driving me insane i keep scratching my face for those that didn't hear because i was saying to milking when uh i wasn't on air i caught my friends this morning dry and like my fluffy little bits you know at the end <laughs> they're all over my face annoying me <laughs> get above 250 and we'll talk later i'm not purchasing anymore at the minute guys um market is just being a market uh let's maybe just quickly check on the 12 hour because that is a nice one as well to look at actually i'm going to check 10 hours and see where we are on the 10 hour because when you're trading that's an interesting one so you can see how they are kind of like you know very very tight here and i like the 10 hour for trading because uh as you can see how tight the 50 ema is with the price action on the 10 hour and if you trade off those uh there's an interesting compliments i mean this can easily start pumping and i'm not going to be surprised you see that pink uh candle here that would probably go up all the way over to the two dollar get get over to that level here hit again 250 we'll see what happens next I'll come back to to this and maybe I'll trade it myself. Maybe I'll enter this trade because I haven't had a chance to do it this morning yet. Um, and just because I love this uh, indicator, I'm going to put obviously the trading alpha and see. So yeah, nice reversal printed here already. This uh, was confirmed. Uh, we never went back below that level here. Bottom, bottom failed reversal here um still giving us nice green candles and now we see that reversal very strong and then all the pushes from here all that green lovely green we see on the dots and the candles uh indicating don't film more guys you're gonna watch this like it's 11 o'clock half 11 you're gonna watch this probably about five o'clock in the afternoon so this could already be mooning by now so unless you see those levels that we're talking about right now still on the chart don't start chasing it when it goes all the way to 250 um it's just definitely not what you want to do you want to wait for the price action to calm down to do something to exhaust itself and find another level to buy and we'll talk about it if we see e and j uh go all the way to 250 again because if i if this moves it this is definitely uh, another very logical target <laughs>